Hello and welcome to Hawaii Family Farm. Today we are going to be talking about marigolds. Marigolds attract beneficial insects, which is like ladybugs, parasitic wasps, um, lady wings, which are totally great for your garden. And they reduce the amount of harmful garden insects, which everybody loves, right? So when you plant things like basil, potatoes, broccoli, squash, eggplant, kale, tomatoes, all of these are a great companion plant for marigolds. Okay, so when you plant marigolds around the borders of your garden, it actually helps. A lot of people don't like flowers, blah, blah, blah. However, they're very important for the bee population and they're important for your garden as well, especially if you want to grow organically and you don't want to put harmful chemicals on your garden to repel pests. These are a great way to repel pests naturally. Okay. So these flowers actually produce a really nasty chemical um, that repels most nematoids, right? So if you're in your garden and you smell something, for me, a lot of people, I don't know, a lot of people think marigolds smell good. I don't. Um, they actually smell like death. <laughs> um, and there's been many times I planted them in the garden. I'm like, what is that smell? I don't like the way they smell. However, they do benefit the garden, so I will keep them around. So what have we learned so far, okay? We learned that marigolds, not only are they pretty, they repel pests from your garden, especially if you plant them around the borders. Also, they're really good companion plants to basil, potatoes, broccoli, squash, eggplant, kale, tomatoes, so they're great to plant around there. Um, they deter white flies. One creepy fact is that marigolds are thought to attract the souls of the dead. So, you know, you want to be careful when you're out there planting marigolds in your garden. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hang out in our lives. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.